Hello and welcome. My name is Martha Ann Brooks and I'm Principal Trombone Player with Orchestra of the Swan. In this video, I'm going to examine in some detail the famous trombone solo from Mozart's Requiem, the Tuba Mirum. Mozart's Requiem was his final composition, but unfinished at the time of his death on the 5th of December, 1791. The scoring for the Requiem is two basset horns, predecessor to the cornet, two bassoons, two trumpets, three trombones, timpani and strings. The vocal lineup is a soprano, alto, tenor and bass soloist and choir. The trombone section simply follows the choir parts. Thus, the alto trombone assists the altos in the choir, the tenor trombone, the tenors and the bass trombone, the basses. The sopranos of the choir are aided by other treble instruments of the orchestra. However, in the tuba mirum, the tenor trombone takes the centre stage, along with the vocal soloist. For the trombone to announce this movement is at first perhaps unusual in that tuba mirum spargen sonum translates as the trumpet will send its wondrous sound. However, as the trombone translates into large trumpet, it doesn't seem quite so unusual. The thing that sets Mozart's tuba mirum apart from those of other composers is perhaps the nature of the music, whereas Mozart's contemporaries such as Cherubini, Michael Haydn and later composers such as Berlioz and Verdi all use large brass forces and very theatrical music. Mozart has a noble and elegant solo line. Berlioz in 1834 complained that Mozart's single trombone was inadequate to the task. Why just one trombone to sound the terrible blast that should echo around the world and raise the dead from the grave? Why keep two other trombones silent when not three, not thirty, not three hundred be enough? Of course, this is spoken by a man who used four brass bands in his Requiem. In the article about Mozart's Requiem, trombonist Doug Yeo informs us that George Reuter and Franz Joseph Ullman wrote gentle trombone solos and trombone duets in their tuba mirror movement of their Requiems. So why did some composers treat this text with dramatic effect while others, like Mozart, took a more gentle approach? We would do well to note that in the mid 18th century Vienna, the idea of a beautiful funeral or a beautiful death was very much in play. And Hermann Eber, in his early biography of Mozart in 1855, explains, Mozart pictures the Lord not as a strict and implacable judge, but as a lenient, albeit just and serious God. Of course, one aspect that may have affected Mozart in comparison with other composers was that he may have realised just how close to his own death he was. In the magnificent but probably mostly fictional film Amadeus, you see him dictating his music to Salieri whilst lying on his deathbed. Cecil Forsyth, in his book Orchestration in 1914, wrote sardonically, only the first three bars appear to have been written by one who understood the instrument. However, I disagree strongly. Mozart obviously had a great affinity with the trombone. Although he did not write any trombone parts in any of his symphonies, think of the richness that the trombones add to his operas, Magic Flute, and of course, Don Giovanni. Think about the beautiful writing in his masses as well. Mozart was definitely clear in his own mind that he wanted to use trombones in his Requiem and in particular a trombone solo in the tuba medium. Mozart was acquainted with the instrument. After all, his father Leopold wrote an alto trombone concerto in 1756 and this was specifically for a virtuoso player, Thomas Geschlatt. It is very hard to over-exaggerate the influence this trombone had on composers at this time. And as well as Leopold Mozart's alto trombone concerto, we had concertos from Michael Haydn, George Wagensaal and Johann Albersberger too. 
1767 when Mozart was only 11 years old. He'd written an exceptional trombone solo in his The Obligation of the First Commandment, Kirka 35, and so was well acquainted with the instrument's capabilities. These works were written for alt trombone and of course the tuba mirum written for tenor trombone. Mozart wrote the opening declamation for the tenor trombone. The bass soloist succeeds this with exactly the same notation and pitch and therefore the voice and the sonority of a tenor trombone seems to match the bass voice more appropriately. In a letter Mozart wrote to his father in 1787, he writes, As death, when we come to consider it closely, is the true goal of our existence. I have formed during the last few years such close relations with this best and truest friend of mankind that his image is not only longer terrifying to me, but it is indeed very soothing and consoling. And I thank my God for graciously granting me the opportunity to learn that death is the key which unlocks the door to our happiness. <laughs>